He will uh, tell the story to almost anyone he meets, and uh, you know uh, he is bubbling with uh, uh, energy when he is doing uh, any of his film. And uh, what I find, uh, as I work with so many other directors also, that he improvises a lot when he is doing uh, his scenes. Uh, he might think of doing a particular scene in the morning in such a manner, but by the time he comes on the set, he has changed the entire kind of uh, thinking as well as shooting of the scene he comes out. Although the scene remains the same, but then uh, he will, uh, like uh, only two days back in the morning when we were coming in the car, and he says that uh, uh, the scene is very important in the film because uh, there's a lot of tension in the scene and all that. But then the shooting wise, you know, it will be a very kind of simple kind of uh, uh, shooting. No, not much of a camera movement and all that. And when we went on the set and started doing that scene, almost all the shots had quite camera movement, you know. So it's a, uh, you know, what I say is when, when he is working, uh, he improvises a lot. Uh, it's nothing is fixed uh, uh, from the beginning, you know. So that is what I like about him. And uh, that's the reason I think uh, I also get a chance to do uh, improvise my kind of work. But uh, do you find it very really difficult as a cameraman to work in a such an improvised situation? No, it's not because uh, if you preset the things, then it might be it is difficult. But then I don't preset any things because I also work according to the requirements given at the spot. Say when I'm explained, when he explains the scene to me in the morning, then I think of doing that uh, that uh, plan of lighting. Then I decide. So it's not difficult. In fact, I enjoy doing things like that. Uh, when did you first meet him? How did he uh, come in contact with you? I think it was in 1966. I remember exact date because it was my convocation, 5th of August 1966, and he had come to Pune Film Institute and. Uh, on that day, I think he saw my diploma film also, on that particular day. And uh, he liked the, the film very much. I don't know whether he liked the film very much, but he liked my work in that. Especially there's one uh, handheld shot in the train corridor. So that day only, in fact, he said, uh, he promised me that someday we'll be working definitely together. Of course, uh, the chance came after three years. And, uh, the first film you worked with him was Bhuvan Shom. Yes. Do you remember Bhuvan Shom? Yeah, very much. How was it? What was it like? And that being your first major film. Yeah, in fact, uh, we worked in a lot of handicaps because uh, the budget of the film was very low. Like, uh, I was not even provided any light boys or things like that. But still, uh, we enjoyed working. And uh, we used to uh, do things in whatever manner we could manage. It's like, uh, even uh, direction boys or uh, production boys helping in holding the reflectors and things like that. And uh, of course the locations were very beautiful. That helped the film a lot. And whatever in interior we had, that also we did on location with very few lights. But then I think the, the results were... He was quite happy with the results. Of course, in the beginning he even called me a documentary cameraman because <laughs> first time when he saw the dashes he didn't like it very much. Uh, that was the mistake of the lab, but then afterwards when the reprint was done, it was okay. What was the first shot of Bhuvan Shom you took? Mm, I think uh, Utpal coming out of uh, the railway station uh, and uh, it was, uh, he gets into a Tonga. I think that was the first scene. Was there any difficult shots you remember which was very challenging as a cameraman? Nothing like, you know, I will say that uh, it's the situation which puts the thing into uh, difficult shots. Like, uh, we had a camera trolley, but we that trolley did not have any tracks. So we had to work with improvised with uh, planks and things like that. So working with those things, you know, uh, in the initial thing you feel bad that you don't have a proper equipment to work with. But when you think that but there's no, no choice, so out of that whatever is given to you, you have to do your best. So, I'll say that uh, that was one thing, like, you know, there were a lot of movement, uh, and they are moving on a uh, bullock cart. 
So a lot of trolley shots were there, but then we had to do all of with the planks and things like that. How was that done? That was done on a rough track. How was this plan taken as so well? So we'll uh, use planks, pull them together, try to balance them as much as possible, and then use a trolley on top of it. In subsequent films, what changes have you seen? Have you seen any change in his style? Yeah, very much because uh, uh, since Egmin Pratidin, I think he has gone uh, on uh, analyzing his characters more than on the uh, other subject. Because most of his films after Egmin Pratidin are study of characters, analysis of the characters. And uh, since then, uh, he, most of his films have been like that. But before Egmin Pratidin, his films were quite different. As a cameraman, do you see any change in terms of the types of shot taking from Bhuvan Shom till now? Yeah, now he uses a lot of camera movement. Uh, that much he was not using earlier. And uh, the camera movement, the way he uses has a rhythm in them. Uh, in totality, when you see the scene, it has a rhythm. So this, I think, uh, is uh, from last eight, nine years. Previously, it was not there. Can you think of any shot or any sequence in all the Minansen films which you think was very, very difficult to execute, but which was executed? Uh, no, I don't know whether you will uh, remember. Um, there is one shot in uh, Akale Sandane. It's a very long shot, nearly 380 feet. And uh, lots of characters are involved in that. And a lot of camera movement is there. Uh, he planned that shot and uh, we executed that shot very effectively. If you remember, I'll say it's near, a, near the um, near a temple. Outside the temple, some people have gathered and then other characters come and go. Over the years, you've worked with a lot of new directors, especially new cinema directors. Yes. Uh, what difference do you find with him and the other directors? Uh, as I told you earlier, mainly uh, uh, he, he improvises a lot on the set, whereas the other directors, they are quite fastidious, like uh, I'll say, I'll mention Kumar, Armani. They are very particular about things. And if the things don't happen in that manner, they, they are very, they will not take the shot and all that. Whereas in case of Dada, he, according to the situation, he'll adjust. Not that he'll lose the quality of the shot of the scene, but he'll, he'll ready to adjust according to the situation. And uh, of course, he's very sure. There are many new directors who are very confused. And uh, in case of Dara, mainly I have say I, I like uh, the way he improvises on the set. That's the main difference between him this and This improvisation, is it, uh, can you predict him? No. You can't. You have worked in so many films. Yeah. Are you in a position to say that he's going to take a scene will be broken up like this or will be taken like this? No, you in can't predict because he, he he acts on the spur of the moments. When he's there on the set with the scene, he, he, he starts thinking at that moment. Not that he must not have thought about the scene earlier, but how to take the scene he thinks when he's on the set. So my piece, you see, I, just now before lunch, he explained me a shot. So if I go and set up the shot, quite possible he'll come and change the shot. He'll say, no, 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 I want the track or something like that. So that kind of thing keeps on working in his mind. Which is your favorite Minasin film? Uh, and why? Work of, definitely I like. As Khandler. a cameraman? Uh, Khandler I like it very much. And in black and white, I like Kolkata Seven. Why was Khandler so important to you? Uh, one thing, uh, the location was very beautiful. Then uh, there were a lot of lighting effects which the picture demanded and which we executed, which came out well. And of course, location helped a lot. It was, uh, I'll say, for any cameraman, uh, location is very important and Khandar location was very good. And Kolkata 71 was uh, in black and white and it had five different stories set in at five different kind of things. So that, as a cameraman, gave me a lot of scope to work differently. If you see the film, you'll find that all together five different kind of section of even uh, visually they are different uh, it is said that he's a very emotional man and you are also a very emotional man mm. how do you both get along then of shooting when you're not shooting we got along very well with each other uh, 
while shooting of course sometimes there is some tension but uh, when we are not working there are no tension at all thank you